Will Power wins the day in Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps issue 40. On MoGo, Jon Stewart is reprimanded by the Guardians for disobeying their orders as well as the rules Jon himself wanted to instill. Jon says with a grin that he wanted to convey the Guardians' orders to the Corps, but it took too long to get back to Guy, and before he knew it, they had left to deal with Zod, so now they have to accept the situation as it is. On New Krypton, the Lanterns are still in the all-out war with the House of Zod. The Lanterns look to be winning their fight against Zod and his family, who are overwhelmed by the number of lanterns. In his cell, Hal can feel his ring giving Kyle strength to fight. The other lanterns fight the sunstone wielding worshippers of Zod, telling them that the Zod family have to surrender and that they need to stop their rule of them. Lord joins the fight, punching Guy and planning on killing him, but Kyle returns to the fight with the general. The fight begins to lean in Zod's favour as his family beat back the lanterns and break their contract. Constructs. Zod demands one final time that the Lanterns have no authority over them and need to leave as they won't bend the knee to tyrants like the Green Lantern Corps or the Guardians. Kyle reveals he didn't come to the planet for Zod but came for Hal who now can hear his friend in his head. Kyle says that while Hal is in an impenetrable cell he is too creative and he doesn't need to get Hal's ring to him since the ring is literally him and fueled by his sheer willpower. Filling the ring with willpower, Kyle expels it in a power blast, allowing the ring to leave his body and find Hal. As the lanterns are rounded up by Ursa, Law, and the natives, Hal Jordan, fully powered by his ring, bursts from his cell, ready to fight the general and his family. Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps issue 40 was an action-packed balls to the wall of an issue, and it had the lanterns finally face down Zod and his family. I really love that this issue was just full of action, as the lanterns fighting Kryptonians in in comics is always something I've really liked. You know, it's just, you know, the most powerful weapon in the known universe in the Green Lantern ring fighting like an indestructible being. I think that's really cool. Kind of that, you know, when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object, what happens? And it, this issue had a lot of that sort of stuff with some really cool art depicting like Zod and Kyle going at it. I'm really interested in what happens in the last few issues of this arc and what the future holds for Zod and his family. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Kate Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude. Thank you so much for watching.